The 2015 commercial fishing tournament restructured, a week of activities to celebrate the opening of the Scarborough Library facility, and Tobago sprinters represent well at US Indoor Meet. Info Update Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews, reviews Along with responses, comments and events affecting you Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly A brand new Mazda BG50 4x4 pickup van and two pirogues are among the prizes for this year's commercial fishing tournament The tournament is being put on by the Department of Marine Affairs in the Division of Agriculture, Marine Affairs, Marketing and the Environment However, this year's tournament will focus on reducing negative fishing practices by spreading the tournament over a three-month period. Terence Holmes, fisheries officer, says judges will pay random visits to the landing sites of competitors. The judges will come to determine whether you have taken to see safety equipment, whether your boat is sanitary, whether you, um, you had navigation equipment on board, so that fishermen must have either a compass or a GPS, a cell phone or a marine radio. He says this year's competition will also pay particular attention to safety at sea. I know that the Tobago House of Assembly is working assiduously to put in place a tracking system that will allow us to track their boats even if they don't come back. We'll be able to determine where they are. It's in collaboration with a smartphone project at the University of the West Indies. The tournament will begin on March 1st and end with two days of intensive fishing on the 16th and 17th of June. For more information, please contact the Department of Fisheries at 639-4446 or 639-4354. We move from fishing to reading to tell you that the Scarborough Library facility has planned a series of events targeting everyone as part of its opening celebrations. Alyssa Crosby has that report. Later today, there will be a literary reading session for adults featuring the Tobago Writers Guild from 4.30pm to 6pm. Tomorrow, there will be a storytelling session for children 12 and under, featuring Lauren Boris Phillips from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Other sessions include civil rights talks with the United States Information Service on Thursday from 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. And on Friday, there will be a spoken word session for young adults featuring mood writers and Mr. Cleon McPherson, from 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. Librarian 3, Helen Johnson, says the Scarborough Library facility will offer more than just books. She says the library will serve the wider Tobago public with a series of activities such as storytelling, kids' fun time, and computer literacy programs. According to Mrs. Johnson, the library aims to develop a sense of community. The Scarborough Library facility will provide an array of services, including internet access, the Tobago Heritage Library, a storytelling room for children, a visually impaired room, e-book access, and computer training. I'm Melissa Crosby for Info Update. Tobago-born sprinter Kellyanne Batiste has made a successful return to track and field. Umadara Mills has that report. TNT's World Championships medalists Kellyanne Batiste and René Kwau sped to victories in the indoor circuit in the United States. Last week, Batiste won the women's 60-meter finals at the LSU Twilight Meet in 7.19 seconds. The 2011 World Championships 100 bronze medalist improved on her 7.2 time in the prelims earlier, the fastest of the round. The win is a second for Batiste in her second meet since being cleared to compete in January. Meanwhile, Tobago-born sprinter René Kwau got his 2015 season off on a winning note, taking the men's 600 yards event in 1 minute 8.81 seconds at the Texas Tech Red Raider Open in the U.S. The 2009 double Carifta bronze medalists crossed the line in 55.90 seconds. I'm Umarara Mills for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Lois Vincent and you've been listening to Info Update.